What makes a legend? Is it the legacy one creates while alive? Or is it the legacy one creates after death? Is the ultimate goal of a legend is to be immortalized? Or do they seek more? The question that is posed, is it possible for one to ascend the status of a legend? Only time will tell. What's up, peoples? It's your boy Guru Mark with the Super Mud Bros, and I'm bringing you some of that WWE 2K20. But specifically, I'm bringing you RIPW Rest in Pro Wrestling, where all your fallen wrestling heroes and villains come to settle things in a square circle. As you can see right now, we holding a tournament to decide who is going to be the champion here in RIPW. And the first matchup we have is Macho Man Randy Savage against the Big Boss Man. So why don't we go ahead and get our two participants to come on out and sell it in the ring. And here we go. Here comes the first participant in the tournament, the first participant in this match, the one and only Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho Man, over his career, he has amassed multiple championships, including the WWF World Heavyweight Championship twice, the WWF Intercontinental Championship, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. He won that four times. He's a former king of the ring. And also, he's a WWF. Hall of Famer. Macho Man's career spans all the way to the NWA, which most people don't talk about, where he was, was once a CWA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, an AWA Southern Heavyweight Champion twice, and an NWA Mid-American Heavyweight Champion three times. The man is a true legend and deserves the proper respect. Now that his opponent in this matchup, many don't know about him, but it's the Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man is a former WWF Hardcore Champion. He won that championship four times. He was also a WWF Tag Team Champion with Ken Shamrock. He is also a WWF Hall of Famer. Many don't know, Big Boss Man had two stints with the WWF. As you can see right now, he's in an attire from his first stint. Now his second stint, many do know, is from the Attitude Era where he dressed in all black in the SWAT costume. And here we go. Macho Man, Big Boss Man. A lot of man testosterone in this matchup. And Boss Man starts off with a good slam. Headlock, punch to the top of the head, and he set him up for an atomic drop. Macho Man's down. Oh no, Macho Man's coming back. Boss Man was too slow on that one. Well, the girth and size of Big Boss Man is too much for the Macho Man. Surprising. And Big Boss Man comes in with the world's strongest slam. Big Boss Man so far has been dominating this match. It will come as a shocker to many due to Macho Man's great talent. Oh, good punch to the side of the jaw there by Big Boss Man. And again, dropping Randy Savage. Boss Man, grabbing Macho by the side of his head. And Macho counters, but the clothesline doesn't knock down Boss Man. And Boss Man with the backbreaker. Taking down Randy Savage. Big Boss Man in full control of this matchup. Macho Man may have to get it together here. Unless he wants to meet the fate of Big Boss Man. Boss Man walking down Macho Man. Cocky. Oh, and the clothesline finally takes down Boss Man. The arrogance has come to pay here. For the big boss man. And now, Randy Savage in control. Side rushing leg sweep. And he's picking up boss man. And he set him up for something. Inverted atomic drop. Randy Savage. Showing the skill. Showing the technique. Showing what everybody known from the beginning. And now the elbows to the eardrum. Trying to shake up big boss man. Trying to rattle the brain. And then a the backbreaker. 
Macho Man. Oh, with the mounted punches. Boss Man's trying to cover up. He's trying to cover up. Randy Savage showing the dominance. And now Randy. Oh, Boss Man tosses him. And a kick to the midsection. Boss Man back in control. Cover. Only a one count. Big Boss Man getting right back on top of him. Not wasting any time. He remember earlier that arrogance. It came and go, coming against him. And now Boss Man with the punch in the midsection. Randy throwing Boss Man into the corner. Randy Savage. Oh, punch to the side of the head. Oh, Boss Man fighting back. He's like he set him up for some type of some type of suplex. And drops Randy Savage. Randy rolls back to his feet. Boss Man wasn't ready for it. Randy Savage. Oh, elbow to the face. Savage using a lot of elbows here. And it set him up for that neck breaker. Macho man Randy Savage. A legend. A man that many see as their favorite wrestler. Their wrestling hero. He has played both sides of the fence. He's been a, he's been a bad guy. But he's most, most known as the good guy around here. He's most known as the face. He's most known as the man who should have been better than Hogan. But Hogan just had that one step appeal. Maybe some will say politics, but hey, it is what it is. But Macho Man Randy Savage is in control of this matchup. Boss Man hitting the side of the jaw, shakes off the punch. Savage going to some, some wrestling, wrestling takedown right there. Showing some match skills. Got him in that headlock. Trying to wear down Big Boss Man, who is the larger man of the two. Boss Man fights out. Big Boss Man trying to go for that World Strongest Slam again. But it was countered by Savage. And Savage with a jawbreaker. Dropping the big man down. Savage. Like he's going to the top rope. He's ascending. Is he going for it? Oh yeah, he's going for it. Elbow drop. Cover. Ref. And the macho man Randy Savage picks up the victory here. Macho man disposes of the big boss man with that elbow drop. As we look back on the matchup. It's where the boss man tossed Randy Savage and hit him in the kick in the midsection. This is a long replay here. We don't need to see all this. There's only one count. Who's doing a replay? Macho Man with that elbow drop from the top rope. And the cover. Three. Right there. And Macho Man in the center of the ring celebrating. Uh, letting everyone know he's here to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Let's get a look at the updated brackets as we see Macho Man made his way to the second round. But who awaits him? We'll see in a moment as Eddie Guerrero takes on Dusty Rhodes. And the first man coming out is the one and only Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero is a former WWE champion. A two-time WWF European champion. One-time United States champion with the WWF. A two-time Intercontinental champion with the WWF. A four-time WWE tag team champion. Tagging with the lights of Chavo Guerrero twice. Tajiri and Rey Mysterio. Eddie Guerrero is a WWE Hall of Famer. He was inducted in 2006. He also, let's not forget his WCW legacy that he left. Being one of the leaders, the instruments of the Cruiserweight division there, where he held a Cruiserweight championship twice. And he was also a WCW United States champion. Many don't really know that. Eddie Guerrero also wrestled in ECW, where he was an ECW World Television Champion. Eddie Guerrero has spanned the globe. He's wrestled in Mexico. He's wrestled in Japan. He's wrestled in about any and everywhere, carrying the Guerrero legacy. And as I say legacy, the next man entering the ring. I mean, the song said it itself. It's the American dream. Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes is basically, understand this. American wrestling in a whole is basically all thanks to Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes is the man. He basically catapulted American wrestling to the next level. Him. And Vince, many will say Vince McMahon did it. 
If this man did put it in the forefront, did put it on the next level, did put it on the pedestal that it is today. But, but, before all that, before it was all mainstream and stuff, Dusty Rose was running the Southern Territories, getting wrestling out there, making sure everyone got to see what pro wrestling was all about. The man just basically was the NWA. Then he went to WCW and did his thing. Then he was in WWF for a short stint. As you see, he had the polka dot outfit on. That is from his WWF days. The man is a legend as of right now. His two sons, Dusty, well, Dustin and Cody, is running AEW, continuing that Rolls legacy and continuing pushing pro wrestling to the forefront. And as I say that, Guerrero setting up for another legendary status, another legendary move. The gory special, made special by his father. Dusty Rhodes. Oh, no, counter by Eddie. Eddie showing the quicks here. He going to have to use that against Dusty Rhodes. Got yeah, Dusty pushing back in the corner. The two staring each other down. Oh, a sign of respect. A sign of respect. And Guerrero's back in the tie-up. Dusty Rhodes with the counter. Headlock takedown. The two... Showing the wrestling match skills. Guerrero. The head scissors. Rich in the neck. Squeezing them legs across the neck. Cutting off the circulation. Guerrero again. With the headlock. And they go back into the corner. Rolls. Irish whip. And the elbow on the top of the head. Rolls dropping Guerrero there. Rolls. With another elbow. And a punch to the midsection. And now he has him locked in a sleeper hole. Will Eddie tap out? No. Guerrero with the counter. Eddie Guerrero here. No counter by Dusty. These two are fighting back and forth. And Dusty rolls with the shoulder block. Knocking Guerrero down. And Guerrero back to his feet. And a spinning heel kick. Big elbow drop. These two men going back and forth. Back and forth. No slowdown here. And Guerrero setting up again for that gory special. And drops him down. Gory bomb. Dropping Dusty Rhodes by the ropes. And Guerrero wisely pulls him away. I thought he was going to go for a cover there. But no, he's going to work on the shoulder here. Guerrero working on the shoulder. Wrenching that shoulder. Ooh. Slamming him down. Trying to dislocate that arm. Guerrero, drop kick to the knees. Guerrero's working every piece of Dusty Rhodes' body. We didn't see him go for the knees. We seen him the second to go for the arm. Guerrero going all around, making sure Dusty Rhodes is immobile. So when he hit that frog splash, he does not kick out. And now Dusty Rhodes winding up and a punch to the jaw. All counter there by Guerrero. Guerrero was a little too quick for Dusty. And Dusty rolls back out again. Guerrero follows him this time. And the two trying to counter one another. Guerrero with a European uppercut. Dropping Dusty Rhodes. This right here is a match. This is a dream match of all dream matches right here. And we're getting it here on the first round. Here in the RIPW World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. The ref is at three. The ref is at a four count. And now Dusty... Going back in the ring. Five count here. Guerrero need to get back two. We do ten counts here in RIPW. But Dusty breaks up the count. And now the two are staring at each other. And the girl throws Dusty back in the ring. Guerrero hops back in himself. Following up. She's supposed to do. Don't give your opponent no chance to break. And a backdrop driver. Dropping. Dusty rolls on the back of his head. Another drop kick to the knees. And now Dusty Rhodes rolling out the ring. I'm believing Guerrero's game plan is this. Dusty Rhodes is a heavier set man. If you work on that leg, it'll be a little bit harder for him to get around, for him to run, to sprint, to move, just due to the extra weight that'll be pushed on those knees and the pain that's going to cause the walk. But Dusty Rhodes showing no signs of that. Running straight at Guerrero, hitting, throwing his body at him. And now stumping on Guerrero and hitting him with a double axe handle to the jaw. A Polish hammer, if you will, for many. And Guerrero working on those legs again. And now Guerrero, suplex. Oh, twerking the hips. Oh, we know what this is. You know what he's doing. Suplex number two. Or the second amigo for many. 
Dos Amigo and the Trey Amigos, the three amigos there for Eddie Guerrero. And Guerrero follows up with an elbow drop, making sure Dusty is down. Guerrero's ascending. Frost Splash! Oh no, countered by Dusty Rhodes! It was countered! Dusty saw it coming! Dusty saw it coming! And Dusty's still fighting back! Dusty going for a jab! Guerrero dodged it! And a European uppercut! High pace action here! Oh no, countered by Dusty! Whips Guerrero around! A timing drop! And a clothesline to make sure Guerrero stays down! Dusty! Shaking off the pain! Shaking off the pain! Trying to get Guerrero back to his feet. Oh, go for the jab. No. Countered by Guerrero. With a punch of his own. Guerrero grabbing Dusty by his arm. Twisting it. Wrenching it. Ascending to the top rope. Guerrero. Arm breaker there. Put a little flare on that arm breaker. Eddie Guerrero staring down Dusty Rose. This is what I was talking about earlier. I, Guerrero been on top of Dusty Rhodes the entire match, but right here for some reason, he's staring him down. I have no idea why he's doing that, giving Dusty a chance to get back up. Guerrero punched to the back, and he's setting up again for more amigos. That's a number four in this match. Number five and the sixth one. Will Dusty stay down after these? Guerrero setting Dusty up. Oh, he's gonna go for the cover. Just for the cover. And Dusty kicks out at two. This matchup right here. The first match was definitely the Randy Savage and Bossman was to get it started. But this match right here is living up to all the expectations here at RIPW. Dusty with that wind up fist. And now, knee to the lower back. Dusty Rhodes. Believe it or not, the veteran in this matchup. I say that because many believe Eddie Guerrero will be the higher, the, the veteran here. Guerrero wrestling for over 20, almost 30 years. But Dusty Rose, they're playing a little cat and mouse here as I'm trying to give you a backstory. But Dusty Rose, the man, like I said, basically, basically made pro wrestling what it is today in the forefront of where it's at today. And now Guerrero. Out of all the cat and mouse they were just playing, setting up for another gory bomb. Eddie Guerrero picks him up, staying on top of him, like I like I said earlier. Now Guerrero setting up for another gory bomb. Two gory bombs in a row. That has been three gory bombs in this matchup. Guerrero literally just dropping Dusty Rhodes. And now setting him up. Fisherman suplex. Sorry the lights went out for a brief moment. Now Guerrero set him up for that lasso from El Paso. Oh no. Countered there by Dusty Rhodes. And now Dusty with the jabs. With the jabs. Dusty. Look at the work and he. Bam. Drop Guerrero down. Guerrero's down. Guerrero's down. Ref. And Guerrero kicks. Unbelievable. Eddie Guerrero kicks out. After the jabs from Dusty. Guerrero celebrating. Oh, no. Dusty with some more. The jabs and the elbow to the top of the head. Cover. And Guerrero. Yeah, again. Kicks out. The match is fire. These two men will not relent. These two men won't give up. Guerrero with the clotheslines. Kicking it up a notch. Set him up. Drop kick. Guerrero's feeling it. He's feeling it right now. Eddie with the stomp. Setting up, working the other arm now. Drops him down. Eddie Guerrero, now in control of this matchup. Grabs Dusty Rose by the back of the head. Throws him over, out of the ring. Guerrero fouls him. And now Guerrero, showing off. Showing off here. Should have stayed on top of Dusty Rose as we've seen in this match. These two men will not relent to one another. Throws Dusty straight into the stairs. Guerrero. Throws Dusty into the stairs again. Banging them knees against the stairs. Again, working the legs. 
But does he counter the throws Guerrero across the mat, or across the outside ring, outside the ring? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me there. And now Guerrero with the counter, jawbreaker. It's a Guerrero counter. And now Dusty throws Guerrero into the steps. Guerrero walking backwards. Oh no! Guerrero walking around to the ring. A count. Dusty follows. Irish whip. European uppercut. A rotating European uppercut there. And now Guerrero again. Working that arm. Making sure Dusty can't lift it up. From when he goes for the pin. Oh no. Countered by Dusty Rose. A clubber and fist. Dusty. Kick to the midsection. A knee. Taking down, taking down Eddie Guerrero. Eddie working the leg, kicking him in his knee. Oh! Dusty picks him up. A gorilla press slam right there. An elbow to the face. Dusty picks him up. Set him up. Got him up for the airplane spin. Rotating him. Nauseating Eddie Guerrero. Slams him down. Dusty picks him up again. And wind up fist. Knocking down Eddie Guerrero. Eddie outside the ring. Another jab. A chop across the chest. Oh no counter there by Guerrero. Oh no counter there by Rhodes. The two going back and forth. This is gonna this can go all night. Oh Guerrero chest first into the barricade. And now body first into those steps. Dusty Rose dropped Toho. And now, as you can see, the fatigue is wearing down Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, the Guerrero took full advantage of that. Iris whipping Rhodes. Rose is down. Rose better get up before the ref gets to a 10 count. Rose better get up. Oh no, Eddie Guerrero. I'm surprised he did that. I'm surprised he went back out to break out the count. Maybe he's paying respect because Rose did it for him earlier. Dusty Rose fighting off. Throwing Eddie back in the ring. He follows him. Rose standing on top of Guerrero here. Oh, Rose over the top rope. Guerrero patting to the crowd. He gave Rose enough time to get back in the ring. Rose tried to grab Guerrero. Guerrero shook, shook him off. Rose got him. Threw him in the corner. Tosses him down. Rose is ascending to the middle rope. Like he's setting up for a myth with this drop there. And the cover. And he, and he kicks out again. A two count kick out. Guerrero back to his feet. Try to clobber punch Rose. Slid off of him. Rose trying to hit him with a jab. Guerrero too fast. Guerrero got Rose by the back of the neck. He places him on the rope. Kick to that leg. Working the knee again. And now Guerrero says, says Rose on the bottom or the middle rope. And now he's trying to choke the rest of the air out of Rose. Guerrero putting together a matchup where he's just wearing down Dusty Rose all across the body. And now Brain Buster. Dropping rolls, and this has to be it. And Guerrero picks up the win over Dusty Rose. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Eddie Guerrero was able to dispatch a Dusty Rose. This match right here, back and forth all match. These two men didn't want to let up. Guerrero right there with the counter. This is one of the six amigos delivered. Says amigos in this matchup. And Dusty Rose with those jabs. And I thought it was over right here when Rose dropped him with that double fist. But Guerrero showed the fight back. And now, as you see, Guerrero is the winner of this matchup. Latino Heat will be going to the next round. And as you can see, who he'll be facing in the next round. A matchup of all matchups against Macho Man Randy Savage. My peoples. We're going to leave here. I only got one more thing to say to y'all. Peace.